hey there you are how you going i'm aussie stuntman of t-bag time news as you do know it or times now i have to remember saying that now t-bag time with an s I had to change the channel because too much copyright infringement but anyways um sorry i didn't do a video yesterday because you know apparently um i come home and played xbox and i felt a bit sick so i wanted to have to lie down and then woke up at like 10 o'clock at night and when i had to start at one o'clock in the morning recording is not anywhere in the books but anyway um, yesterday was going to be Xbox Day, so like next week when I get to Tuesday, it will be Xbox Day. But today, being Wednesday and being payday, your favourite day, it is um, Xbox Day. Xbox Day, I want to talk about to basically just cover a couple of games happening on Xbox right now that I'm playing, and also basically you guys will be playing, or guys, the games you'll be playing like very soon. Today, a friend messaged me on Twitter and it's like, Oi, um, not, sorry, yesterday, and said, Oi, do you have um, Halo 3? And I was like, Oh, I used to have it, and then she's like, Oh, well, you should go get it, you know, jump on to the planet all day, so go, um, go buy it, get home. Actually, it was only 18 bucks, so, um, anybody, EB Games, $18, Halo 3, I'm not sure what game and game traders in JB Hi-Fi have it at, but, um, pre-owned, $18, I think, brand new, it's still, like, 40 bucks, so, just go second hand, and I'll whack it in, and as soon as I started playing it, I remembered why I hated Halo and all the, like, multiplayer, I mean, the game, single-player game is awesome in itself, but um, as soon as you get back to like multiplayer, there's people jumping around. I'm just like get so annoyed because you can just picture the Australian army running over to a rock, and you know they get like invaded and they like getting shot at. They're not gonna like jump up in the air and like you know try and strafe around. I'm just like nah. But then the thing is, to continue and actually survive in Halo multiplayer, you have to adapt and do it yourself, which I end up doing myself. Like go and throwing grenades around the corner, strafing around. I mean you can do strafing in most first person shooters, but like throw a grenade, strafe around the little column or the building in the wall in the middle, and then like halo jump around the person, and then also those hover lifts, man, they are so annoying, I couldn't, <laughs> just playing the game for the first time in so many years, like coming up and not knowing which direction to go, but um, talking about halo, the new halo um, anniversary, the first one's coming out very soon, it's going to be the high def version, I talked about it a while ago on one of my other shows, but that's another channel which now is deleted. But I'm um, looking forward to that a lot, and I saw it was only like $50, $60, and I, I knew they wouldn't be able to bring it out at $100, because I know everybody would be crying rip-off straight away. But um, another game that I bought a while ago, basically to get into betas now, I know everybody's seen videos of Battlefield 3, and um, today the trailer came out, and I mean another trailer came out for it, and you saw they put that snippet right in the front of the jets, and you're just like, oh my gosh you're like you know they're gonna have jets flying around in it and just made this game even more epic as well i had a status on <laughs> facebook i mean not facebook twitter i put um we're gonna uh, modern warfare 3 we're gonna kick battlefield's ass and um battlefield's like i don't I'm, i don't think so and then modern warfare 3's like i would be worried if i were you and then, and then battlefield 3's like we have jets now and then modern warfare 3's like straight face it's like modern warfare 3 has to pull something epic out and i know they've got the um spec ops mode which i've seen the video clips for it and i tell you what it does look pretty awesome but comparing it to um, having the ability to fly around jets but it's not the first time i've had planes because today again i remember i downloaded a while ago battlefield 1943 that on the arcade you download that i'm not sure i think it's like 800 or like 1200 xp points for um i mean ms points for microsoft but um once go down to download that, and I did have planes in there, and I did try and fly one of those planes today, and I tell you what, flying it, and after flying that plane, it basically goes up, goes down, and <laughs> I'm trying to pitch it back, and then pitched it right into the water, and then it landed so far away from the island, I had to suicide to get back, but see, they're bringing that back, but in now jet form, for, you know, because it's like realistic um, modern warfare, that's it, basically, Battlefield had Modern Warfare before Call of Duty had Modern Warfare, but um, they just stole the name Modern Warfare to try and get in front of them. And talking about it, uh, another, not beta, but another new game getting released, uh, the old game that I bought, um, Ghost Recon Future Soldier 2. I, mean, I bought that, and the graphics were like, oh my gosh, like major flashback, and I was just like, not getting headaches, but <laughs> you just get annoyed at how, like, not bad, but like, compared to now how bad the graphics were and then also the controls because every first person shooter it's good that they're different because you don't want the controls to be the same like everybody, everybody says oh it's not like COD I'm like I hate people that as soon as the first person shooter comes out like when Duke Nukem came out they compared it straight to COD and it's like Duke Nukem was the game before COD was even like a little sperm in its dad's ball sack but um Ghost Recon Future Soldier 
that's the one I'm looking forward to now. Um, Ghost Recon, um, future, I think I said it before, whoops. But anyway, Ghost Recon Future Soul is coming out and uh, comp compatibility with Connect. That thing looks awesome. The Gunsmith, um, I'll leave a link in below so you can check that out. Um, it looks bloody unreal, that's what I, I reckon. Just the way he moves around and also just pulls the gun apart, puts the gun back together again. And then, like, can have a test of it right then and there. I'm not sure if that's going to incorporate into single player. I know it couldn't really incorporate to multiplayer unless everybody was using Connect. I mean, because the lag between you doing the body actions to Connect, picking it up, will not be as fast as someone like hitting that A button or hitting the bumper button to shoot or something like that. So, anyways, Ghost Recon of Future Soldier 2, a game to look out for. Anyways, um,. What do you think of the view? That's why I said I thought I'd do most of my videos outside now, except like more of the ones when um, NGL TV comes in, that will be done with the green screen and the whole pictures and the videos on the side and stuff like that. But I thought, you know, taking the show outside, because I'm, uh, I'm not seeing like many other video game people, they're normally like, you know, sit in front of a desk, sit in front of a TV, sit in front of a computer, sit in front of a like a green screen. But I thought, you know, why don't I do something different seeing some Aussie stuntman why don't I take you outside and basically show you like where I live? I mean, I don't live in this like in these trees here like this, but this is like where around, around like what I mean, this is the area with <laughs> what it looks like where I live, and I reckon it looks bloody sweet. Um, be able to see at the end of the video if you stay and watch it. Um, I did a pan of like the where I live, the lookout. It just goes over. You, I mean, you can't see it to Brisbane from where I live, but you can see like damn well close enough. But um, anyways. Hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you next day.